Uh, pregnancy Connections has changed my life and my son's, my two son's life for the better. It's made me be able to cope with things that I wouldn't have been able to cope with uh, before. If it wasn't for Pregnancy Connections, then I would probably still be homeless and probably wouldn't have custody of my son or, or be seeing my eldest son. I have two kids, a four-year-old and a nine-month-old. I never really had much support from my family, and at least now I do uh, because I've came out and told them about everything and told them what I needed and all that, so they're a lot more supportive nowadays that they understand me. And I found out about the program through um, a girl that I was using with when I was pregnant, and she I went through the program, unfortunately she didn't make it through, she ended up relapsing, but she was concerned and told me about it. My experience at the hospital um, was traumatic as far as having to go through the NICU, of course it's traumatic, but um, my therapist, Marley Hartley, she really helps prepare us pretty well on what we'll expect and what the babies will do. and. So he was in the NICU and he was on uh, methadone and he was on uh, phenobarbital. Uh, he spent, I think, about two months there and he got to come home and after he came home it's just like it was a bad dream, almost like it never happened. Of course it did, but you know, it just feels like it's just normal now. Marley played a huge role in helping me through the process, um, I mean any little problem that we had at the NICU or at the hospital, we would go to her and she always knows exactly what to say. No matter what situation it is, she knows exactly what to say. She's really, she's the only therapist I've ever clicked with and she's helped me through like enormous amounts of problems in my life in the short amount of time that I've known her. Now my, my life's pretty awesome. I never thought that I'd be where I am today, I'm getting ready to get married, I have a home, you know, I have a, a plan. Um, I don't have a job yet, but I'm working on that. And um, I'm going to be working on getting custody of my oldest son. My life has changed. It's never been this good. I can't, even from my childhood, I can't remember when my life was this good. Alvin is nine months old. Um, he's healthy. He's, the doctor says he's healthy and he's you know, he's meeting all his milestones. He's super happy and super, super friendly. He's, I feel like the perception that most people have about a drug baby is n not what Alvin is. You know, that, that concept is so misled, in my opinion. I'm still receiving services through the program. I still go to my Suboxone doctor and I still go to see Marley. And she still, she still helps me 100% with anything that I need help with. She's, I want to strive to be a recovery coach, and she's helping me make that possible. Uh, I just found out that she's going to be leaving in a few weeks. She's going to Ohio, which is a really disappointing. The entire group today was pretty much crying. But um, if another woman approached me in the same situation that I was in, I would tell her that it's so much more possible to fight this battle than she thinks there is. There is hope. You just need the right resources and the right support to do that. I think the biggest misconception that people have about pregnancy and addiction is that we're just all pieces of crap, I suppose. I mean, we're just people that are lost in a life that need help and haven't had a chance to been given an opportunity to get clean yet, you know? Or maybe they have, I don't know, case to case basis, whatever, but. I wanna say thank you to West Virginia Prenatal Partnership because today my therapist told me that you guys have made it possible for her program to be, and the program has 100% changed my life. I was pregnant, homeless, and strung out, and I had no hope. And I'm in a really good place in my life now, so thank you.